Well, hey, we're over here in Africa putting our equipment to the test. And one of those pieces of equipment is the Never Guess Rangefinder. This is the first year that I've started using this rangefinder, but I'm very impressed with it. What it is, it's a ra laser rangefinder that actually fits on your arm, has angle compensation too. So if you're shooting uphill or downhill, down out of a tree stand, or if you're shooting in steep country, it'll actually automatically uh, make that cut for you. For those of you who don't know, if you're shooting uphill or downhill, you always have to aim with less yardage than you would if you were uh, just using a regular rangefinder. So uh, th that's a very interesting feature and a great feature of it. But one of the things that I like about it is that you just line up this pistol sight. It's basically just like the uh, regular handgun sight, fiber optic, so you can see it in low light. But you just line that up and push the button, and it's going to give you the exact yardage to whatever that sight's aiming at. And that's going to be that game animal, hopefully. What I like about it, I'm, I'm a big spot and stock guy. I love spot and stock. So I like to have it to where if I'm stalking on an animal, I can quickly get the yardage. Or, especially I like, if an animal's coming through, like through your opening, you can actually get that yardage as he's walking through, get on him, make the shot with very little movement. It's going to add to your success, and it's going to add to your fun out in the woods. So, try the Never Guess Range Finder. It's a very, very great piece of equipment, and I think you're going to like it, and give it a shot.
think I got him good. Looked like he was buried right behind the shoulder when he ran. Wow, what a stock. We were so close to that bull. He actually shot him at 22 yards. We just were able to just keep behind him and he never did really run. Looked like a good one. It's nice and low. I think it's going to get him good. Oh, let's go get Zach and get her figured out here. Whew. That's a lot of fun. Zach! Oh, what a bull. I think I hit him good too. We were on that bull, literally, I mean, he was, he would walk in the feed and we were staying with him under 30 yards the whole time. And I kept, he, every time I get to full drive, I'd take a step in this thick brush. I couldn't hardly get a shot, but finally I worked in there 22 yards and boy, I put one right in the boiler. So, yeah, and he's right over here. Yeah, that's a gorgeous bull. I think the arrow hit him right there. I mean, it looked good. he's quartered away just a little bit. He's standing right up here where I shot him. Right here Yeah. Track blood already. Yeah, first blood already. Right here. Just some more. Here's some more blood. Yeah, right here. I think the way it's bleeding is not going to go very far. It looked pretty good. Blood right there. I see horns, he's down right there. Wow, what an animal. Look at this animal. He didn't go all that far, did he? No, what, 100, 120 yards maybe? No. Oh, oh man. This is what I came to Africa for. This is one of the top trophies that I wanted to get when I came over here. I think the Nyala is one of the prettiest animals there is. And, uh, you know, we did this on the ground spot and stocked the hard way. Uh, it's one of the difficult ones to get to the boat. Yeah. I mean, and we were within 25, 30 yards of him for, gosh, I don't know, he just kept, kept move, moving away. But uh, he never got really got spooked. So, uh, you know, I was at full draw three times on this bull before I finally got the shot. And uh, made a pretty good shot on him. He went, gosh, like I said, 100, 120 yards and fell over. So uh, couldn't be happier. Yeah, he's really, really nice. Oh, God. Your first spiral horn of Africa. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Really good. Yep. Well, boy, if I can follow this up with a kudu or an, <laughs> an eland or who knows what else. But I tell you what, this is uh, this is this might very well be the trophy of the hunt for me.